This video is sponsored by AppMaker. AppMaker is a WordPress plugin that converts WooCommerce websites to mobile apps. The mobile app builder helps you create native Android and iOS applications. Get 30% off by being first 200 sign up. Get the link in the description. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Educate WordPress. On this channel, we talk everything about WordPress. And today, we're going to see how we can use Flexible Elementor Panel. Now, why do we want to use this plugin? Let's take a look. Let's go to one of our pages. Now, whenever I open the Elementor Editor, I'm seeing this panel now whenever we are making a website the element of panel is always there and our website just shrinks to the size so whenever we have to see our website in action we have to scroll this aside but that's not what I want I want to see both the full website and my widgets hence the solution is flexible element of panel Let's install this plugin. Go to dashboard. Plugins. Add new. Search for flexible element or panel. Head over to the link in the description. Click on download plugin. And here you can choose install or uploaded the zip file that was downloaded from the website. And then click on install now. Let's click on activate the plugin. Now you won't see any changes here. For seeing the changes, let's head back. And as you can see, we have this icon. Let's try using it. So as you can see, we have a slidable element of panel, but that's not what we wanted. We still have this website in this ratio whenever we open our panel. Let's go to settings. You should see panel settings in user preferences. And as you can see, we have draggable panel turned on. And when we have this turned on, as you can see, we have a panel movable. So I can see the website and add widgets without losing the aspect ratio of my website. Like for example, I want to add a heading here. This is the heading in its entirety and the panel doesn't get in my way of designing too. You can still move this panel to the left or to the right and the panel is gone now. I can still edit the text here. So that's the great thing about this flexible element or panel and I can style this too, which is amazing. Let's see some more settings. Now we have use flex grid for widgets. 
Now what is the use of flex grip for widgets? You see, whenever I'm opening our widgets, usually two of them appear in a row. Now with the help of this, I can use three of them. So this is very useful when you have a like a wide screen and you want to extend your element or panel. As you can see, now my elements are stacked in a row. But usually it usually it wouldn't be possible. I can make it short or long. I can choose the size however I want. Let's see some more settings. We have minimize all categories with right click. So whenever I am here, I can just right click and all the settings will be minimized. This is left click. I'm maximizing to show all the elements. I'm right clicking. And it's gone. We also have editor skins that will change the skin of this element or panel. Now this is dark orange and this is dark pink. Let's switch to default. We also have the reset panel icon in the header. So this will reset all the changes. Next we have RTL mode. So we have whenever we have RTL mode available when the widget is turned to the right. So as you can see we can slide it to the right whenever we want. So if you want your elemental panel to appear on the right you can do that as well. Or if you want, we can just use this and drag it around anywhere we want away from the content that we want to edit. Make it short or long, however you like. Now in this way, you can help yourself with the Elemental panel getting in, getting in your way. Now that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like if you find this video useful and subscribe. Thank you.